So guys, look at my, I, uh, I broke my headset. You're probably thinking, oh, it doesn't look that broken. How bad can it be? You tell me. It's technically not really like a huge issue, but it still just kind of sucks, you know? It's my fault though, so it's all good. But what's up, my homies? It's Freakster, and in today's video, we are back with Battlefield 1 gameplay, talking, having fun, I don't know what to call it, but it's just, it's Battlefield 1. Hope everybody's day is going fantastic today, and let me know what you are up to, if you're up to anything exciting. But recently, I thought I'd pick up Battlefield 1 again. Bait is only out for such a limited time, and you know, I might as well get my time played while I can. And yeah, I literally, like, just broke my headset, like, two minutes ago. I have it on recording, too, so I'll show you guys that here. <laughs> Holy sh- I, I got a little frustrated and that's one thing I do have to say about battlefield one is that like I don't know why but this game makes me strangely salty I love it in every single way it is so fun and I can't wait for it to actually come out but for some reason just like getting killed by people just seems a lot more just annoying than other games like that that's just and I'm not saying that as an actual complaint I'm just saying that because it's just like that's just kind of something that factors in for it with me I think it's funny if anything so it's all good you know you're just like having a snipe off or something like that you see someone's like shine from the scope and they kill you like the second you're about to pull the trigger like that's just just a little frustrating sometimes you know but guys I'm starting to realize holy fuck summer is done like su summer's over it's done I didn't realize this until the other day when everyone was like oh yeah I'm gonna see you on school on Tuesday I'm like I, uh, I'm not going to the same school bro in this school year I don't know I'm just I'm not really looking forward to it whatsoever I'll get it done I'm just gonna finish my grade 12 and I'm getting out last year if you guys didn't know was the worst year for school like Ever. But this year I'm going to a different one, so it's gonna be a new experience, it's gonna be something different, and I don't know, it might even bring up some new stories on my channel. But I'm only gonna be going there for, well, probably a bit shorter than most students, because I'm gonna be going for two hours a day, but I'm going to just finish my grade 12 so I can just get out of school. Because if you guys don't know, I live with chronic depression and chronic anxiety, and I really have a harder time in school than a lot of other students and stuff like that. Like, it got so bad to the point I would lie in bed literally all day long. On school days, knowing I have classes, but I just, I couldn't push myself to do it, you know? But I'm going to be going to a school that's more, you know, suited for me, I guess. You know, a bit lighter of a workload, nicer teachers, more understanding, some better, you know, student counselors and stuff like that. Just a place where I can just graduate without, you know, feeling the even thought to drop out. Because last year, that's the point it was getting to. It was getting pretty close to there, because I was just, it was so terrible. But now that school's approaching again, I'm kind of sitting here like, holy fuck, you know, I'm, I hope this is going to be different. Because, not going to lie, I am stressing out a lot of about the new school year and I'm not really looking forward to it. Plus it doesn't really help that I'm gonna be starting school late because eventually here I'm gonna have to just go out to Cranbrook for you know a whole bunch of personal things. It just has to do with my dad and whatnot. It's not really like anything that I hide it's just you know not something that's really to talk about on my channel so whatever. So I'm gonna be starting a little bit late in my school year from that so that's gonna kind of suck but hopefully I can do a lot of it on the road. But yeah I don't know are you guys back in school? Any of you guys? Like what are you up to there? Because like me I I'm still sitting here playing Battlefield 1 enjoying all my free time and I'm totally taking advantage of it. And I'm realizing right now there's kids in school. Like, no. And call me a pussy if you want, but school just, it intimidates me. I'm really like, chronic anxiety, school brings up my anxiety. So honestly, like even the, the thought of going to school makes me sick. And like quite literally sick, I, I actually do throw up. If you guys want to, you know, experience me going to a new school, then like I'll be happy to put that on my channel because that might be a little interesting. And this school is dope as fuck. Like they have dogs that come in on Fridays that just like, oh, oh wait, no. They have dogs that come in on Thursdays because we get every single Friday off. And they're just like cute little shih tzus. Like they're adorable. All their dogs are so fucking cute. And in a way it does suck going going to the school because it's looked down on as a like expulsion school. A lot of people don't see it for what it really is in other ways. And all the kids who got expelled go there and stuff like that, you know, it, it's kind of looked down on that. But I don't know, I'm doing it for the better of me and I'm really hoping it's gonna, you know, make my school year easier and just, you know, get me through. But honestly, I do think it's gonna make a really big improvement on my school year because, like, I'm still graduating from my old high school that I went to, Norcam, so I can still graduate with all my friends. 
but I'm probably gonna be finishing by maybe like November or December hopefully plus it's only two hours a day and it's just like I, I think I'll just get it through get it done and it's just gonna be good from there if you guys want to know my full story behind like school and stuff like that I've had some real bad experiences and whatnot so like if you want to like if you're curious let me know I won't really talk about it out of my own doing because it sounds just attention hoary but I don't know if you guys want to hear it then sure I'm sorry if this video got a little bit ranty really quick because just like I don't know I just I haven't really vented on YouTube in a while and I just I sort of started and it, it just it wouldn't stop but yeah this year I'm really planning for it to be a big year I, I want it to be a good year I just want to get my grade 12 done get a new job progress on YouTube start streaming more just like I want this year to work out you know so I mean I do YouTube I'm a youtuber it's all gonna be documented it should be an interesting school year and if you're back to school I feel sorry for you because I'm not but anyways guys it's gonna be everything for today's video I didn't expect it to take the turn that it did but you know I guess I guess that's the video but anyways as usual I hope you guys did enjoy and if you did remember leave a thumbs up on it comment down below I love it when you guys talk to me also remember share it around to a friend or two and subscribe if you're new as usual if you guys have a fantastic day just stay positive and peace out